Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, we are dismantling another TV. This time we're ripping into a Sony 24 inch CRT TV. As typical, we're doing this so that we can salvage some great parts for future projects, but in this case, safety is extremely important. So make sure to have the appropriate gear and do your research in advance so you know the appropriate safety precautions to take when working with something like this and getting into some really heavy duty electronics. I'm starting off with the TV face down on the floor of my workshop on a rubber mat. This protects me and the TV. If you're not completely familiar and very confident with working with high voltage electronics, I really recommend that you do some research first. There's some great resources that you can look into and always, always make sure to discharge everything before you start touching the components inside. As you can see, I started by removing all the screws from the back side of the TV and then I just lifted the back part of the case right off. This gets us straight to all the gear that we need to start working on. So the next step is I'm just going to unhook all the clips that are holding wires in place. At this point, I'm making sure that any potential residual charge that's left in this flyback transformer has been released before I start touching things. In addition to any other capacitor that happens to be inside of here, there is going to be one on the neck board of this as well as the primary board, all of which can have a residual charge depending upon how long ago it was that this was plugged in. I've explained on screen the technique that I use for discharging the flyback transformer and the connections, but I recommend you do do your own research so that you're comfortable and confident with everything. If you want to see how I did this on another TV, I have the link in the description below for the previous video, the JVC, that I took apart in a similar deconstruction. TVs like this one have some pretty nice speakers inside, so I want to get these out intact. There's a couple screws holding each one in place. I'm going to relieve those, and then I'm going to slide the wire connections straight off the speaker contact points. I also like to work my way around all these components and slide off any wire that has a connection point that makes it easy so that I don't have to cut them loose. The circuit board you see sitting on top has one screw and a little collar that needs to be removed, and then you can slide it straight up and off the electron gun. There's definitely some good components on this little board that's great for desoldering and salvaging for other projects. But for now, let's get back to the deconstruction. I'm going to remove a couple more screws and the retaining clips on the neck of this collar here so that we can go ahead and get this kind of a cone-shaped device off. This little cone-shaped device is actually interlaced with a lot of copper wire. All that copper wire has an important function because you can see as a cathode ray tube, which is what a CRT is, the cathode is actually a heated filament inside the neck of that gun. It creates a stream of electrons which work as a ray that flow through the vacuum sealed tube. That little piece of uh, device, the cone, actually works as an electromagnet to steer those electrons. Those electrons are then kind of painted across the inside surface of the tube, which is coated in phosphors, which fluoresce and make the picture. But I digress. Back to the deconstruction. There are four main screws at each of the main corners that hold the tube onto the frame. You want to get those out of there. Once that's done, we carefully grab the tube by the outside frame and not the electron gun and carefully lift it up and pull it away. The tube does contain lead, leaded glass, and phosphors which are under vacuum pressure, so you want to be very careful not to damage this and definitely be careful not to try to grab it by that electron gun because if it breaks, you could end up with a big mess that could be very unhealthy for you. Those thicker loops are actually the degaussing coil which is full of heavier gauge copper wire, which is just wrapped in electrical tape. I'm now using a screwdriver to push out those little plastic tabs that are holding the main circuit board in place on the front of the case itself. Any of the parts that I'm not going to salvage for another purpose, I do make sure I recycle. I recommend that you do the same, and especially with that CRT tube, find a good electronics recycling facility that will take those, and you can actually return them for free. There's a single plastic bracket on each side of this main circuit board piece that we actually can then snap off, which will allow us to take this circuit board and just slide it straight off the remaining piece of plastic that's holding it in place. Now at this angle you get a really good look at a lot of the different little electronic components that are still stuck inside of this that I'm going to later go back and use a soldering iron and get out of here so I can use it in another project. If you look in the description below, you can see a list of some of the main things that I like to salvage from these kind of scrap projects. As you might imagine, I do have several projects in mind for some of these parts, including a set of speakers for the workshop, a couple of spark generators, some electromagnet projects, and much more. Come back in the future and see what else I come up with. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.